Yeah, I'm not certain if I want to go after new... Well, I guess that decides it. Alright, looks like we're just going to kind of walk in here. And uh, we're going to kind of, you know, kick some ass, take some names. Yeah. I think Spain's a little on the suicidal side. Alright. Well, we should be able to take a pretty decent chunk of it. I'm going to hope for everything along here. And just kind of separate this region of them. The Merchant Marine. Very good. If it moves... Eh, they can do things on their own. I like trade power. Alright, so yeah. Already the West Indies is in flames. I'm going to assume that there's going to be an invasion from the south, because that seems to be where uh, most of their forces were originally. Okay, um, so far what are we looking at for costs here? Oof, overextension's already 50% after two provinces. Like I said, these are some rich provinces. Seven and six, respectively. Not half bad, okay. Well, have you clean them up once you're done. Very good. Uh, Alright, just go around. Do your rounds. Take them all out. Good, you're fine. Okay. Okay. Monetary reforms. We don't need to. Great. Bunch, bunch of peasants are now rising. Uh, there we go. Move in on it. Come on. Auto-saving. Yes, yes. Alright. They seem to have managed to get themselves a pretty decent setup of things here. Or troops. Which is always strange. I don't get how the AI does this. It's probably because I'm an incompetent human. Whereas the AI has, you know, perfect reactions. 108, 133%. Ugh, oh, yeah, we're not taking all of it, I'm afraid. We're gonna have to leave them with, uh, something. Alright, but for the moment, the West Indies is in ruin, so we'll use that to our advantage. They're trying to gather up there, silly. Uh, on the plus side, hey, we'll actually be touching the ocean now. Or it's, I guess this is the ocean, but I don't really want to call it the ocean. It seems it's more like an inland bay of, that isn't recognized by the game. Siege of Tepay, really? Hmm. Alright, yeah, fair enough. Take Core Seminole. Hey, I think they actually have a core on that one. Last time, uh, yeah, they do. Last time, they uh, tried to reconquer something and they didn't actually have a core on it. Which was a little confusing, I admit. Which, you know. Hmm, whatever. At least this time they have a core. And we just converted them to totemism. Dominica. Again, we're just going to continue our work. Uninterrupted. Hmm. I don't think we have the, enough money for that right now. Especially for Diplo points. I don't really care enough. Oh, well, hello there. And that's in Seminole. Alright. We're going to gather ourselves together then. Move. There. Wow. Crossing minus one, but still. Damn. Okay. That's harsh. Br br bring more troops up. Mm. 
Youch. Okay. And they're landing more troops. Great. And there goes our navy. Yeah. How did I know that would happen? Alright, so this time Spain seems to be a little more willing to commit stuff to this war. <laughs> At least from what I've seen. Back to the front. Alright. This time we outnumber them by a fair bit more. So, I'm hoping. No. We can't beat that, which is troubling. Like, there doesn't seem to be any conceivable way for us to actually win against that. We need the entire army, I guess. Hmm. But yeah, I'm going to have to throw myself at them. Luckily, we've got the manpower to make mistakes like this. Again, we are facing a uh, lucky nation, so things are always trickier with them. You can't simply just fight them one-on-one. -on -one. Like, I have the same technology as them. The only thing they have going for them, I think, is uh, that they've completed some more ideas. Which shouldn't be enough to save them two-to-one, but lucky nation bonus, so... There, we got him. No survivors. That's like 40,000 Span Spaniard soldiers there. Alright. You, there. You guys, take care of that. We need to unsiege Seminole as quickly as we can. Disorder, whatever. I'm fine with disorder. Alright, we got that down. We're going to now start reconquering everything. There. Like I said, the war is back in our favor. Alright. And Siege of Orleans. Oh, God. Okay, there's just been a small landing over here. That's something we could probably take care of with a couple mercenary groups. Good. Alright. Uh, make our heir into a military leader. And move to Rio Grande. Guadalupe. Very good. Alright. This region is definitely under our control. The colonies are doing okay. They are actually done. Very good. Ooh, there's almost no aggressiveness on that there. Oh, wow, yeah. Nice. Very good. And done. Alright, so that region is taken care of. Their pathetic landings have failed. We will now oh, assimilate everything. Oh yeah, they're actually willing to make peace. I'm thinking that, and we'll actually grab St. Martin. There. Yeah, it's 137%. We can take it. There. That leaves the Castilian West Indies weaker. Immediately, though. I'm going to try to start to core some of it. I probably shouldn't have teched up that admin level. Yeah, it was not, not, not the greatest thinking. Very good. Yeah, it was just a little, little much, I'm afraid. Alright. Anyway, get the trade fleet back out there. Chesapeake Bay. Apparently, yeah, we control a fair bit of uh, the Caribbean. 
So I want to send a dude here to transfer trade power. Oh, there we are. I was wondering when the British fleet would show up, or somebody's fleet at least. Uh, just to ensure that we're transferring our trade power to Chesapeake Bay. Otherwise, we're not doing anything with it. Since, uh, since apparently we actually have a share there. <laughs> Which I was not aware of. Um... Okay, yeah, uh, you know. Oh, great, so the production interface is broken. It's, that happens occasionally. I don't know if they're ever going to fix that. Uh, we're going to build some heavy frigates down here. Because we need some way of challenging the British naval superiority in that area. Well, we need just ways of challenging um, the trade superiority of the Europeans everywhere. And trying to keep it flowing into Chesapeake. Hmm. The tricky part, though, is... Eventually, I think I'm going to have to move my capital into the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Because that's basically where everything pours into. Because everything around here will pour into a pre-node and then the Gulf of St. Lawrence. Like, it, it is the most important trade node. Controlling the Gulf of St. Lawrence is huge. The fact of the matter is, they get 16 from the Caribbean, 14 from the Gulf of St. Lawrence. If I can plug the Caribbean hole, then um, I'm, we're going to be losing a lot less money in the New World, let's say that much. Continue conversion. Diplomatic insult. Right. Like, I don't have enough Gosses Belize on them. You know? Who cares? Alright. Been in neglect, that's fine. In the meantime, yeah, those are just going along fine. Yeah, alright. Uh, let's continue making cores. Because we're going to need at least a second core in order to get rid of our over 100% overextension. Decline. Yeah. Hmm. Oh wow, the chime you of that region now. Interesting. I feel like I should do something to uh, be stopping Spain's colonial expansion in the other isles. But there's not much I can do, simply because I am pretty well just undermanned. Um, I'm getting a lot of those inflation events. Like, far more than usual. Alright, let's gather this navy together. A secondary trade fleet for the Caribbean that I can use to plug the uh, hole that we have. Colonial Adventures. Sure. Since I've just finished building ships, I can wait a while before building more. The Caribbean. There. That's going to be a huge boost to our income, as we are now pouring all that into Chesapeake. Or at least we were. And then apparently we got our ass kicked by a bunch of pirates. Are you fucking shitting me? That's... 16 heavy frigates. Lose to those pirates. What? Oh, wow, I was not paying attention up there at all. I really need to remember that the hostile sieges all appear here. And so, I, if there is at all for any reason hostile sieges, I need to do something. Pet them. Uh, I'm never paying enough attention. There we go. Hostile sieges in St. Martin. See? That tells me that uh, the rebels survived and walked over there. I'm not certain if the AI keeps pulling them back or what. So I'm actually going to take them off protect trade and just tell them to charge them. 